they all work together to bring urine out of the what are you doing here go back to <coughs> am i the only one who had that fantasy hi Lil. so because the first one got me in trouble i'm gonna do one again this is types of huge electrics part two lego number one in different strokes so these are the lecturers who want to make it very very clear they don't care about you if you come to classes don't come to classes break your leg that is their business they're making sure that you know that they ain't your parents and that you understand very clear good morning class you are university students you are not babies you are here to read for your degree so come to class don't come to class we really care, no? but do not come and ask me for anything because i will not hesitate to fail you every class has had this orientation from at least one lecture i feel so sorry for those students that just came out of school they never know what hit them why don't they love me number two newbies so these are the lecturers that just transitioned from high school teaching or that just came from their own study the fresh granted not all of them are the same but most of them act like this no one comes late or leaves early in my classroom if you have to leave early you call me first or you do not come attendance will be collected do you want my mommy to write you a letter too we are not your prisoners. This is not high school. And after having a lecture like this, to come to class, don't come to class, because I will not hesitate to fail you. Once I get your work done, why you want to see me? But yes, you guys do take time to prepare a lecture and you expect students to come and sit down and for them to learn. You're being paid and me not coming doesn't cut your money. So I don't understand what's going on here. And number three, the ones with really high expectations. You lecturers. Okay, fine. You guys did tell us that we are reading for our degree. But did you expect us to actually do it? Like why? You guys are so savage in keeping your word that if we didn't went home and read the last lecture and do extra, extra studying, We'll be sealing in the next class. So last class, we covered the addition principle. For example, two plus two. So I'm sure you guys did some extra reading so that you could transition easily into our next topic. Today, we're doing finding the circumference of spherical objects of unknown masses. For example, the sun. Then you guys want to ask questions like, aren't you guys reading? When you know the answer is hell no. Nah. And what's so sad? It's when you guys promise. When you promise that it is only module one coming on the test. And then I go and see, you lie. You lie. Because we study diligently and breathlessly. Three hours before the exam, but it doesn't matter. You said module one. And when we look at our test paper, we see. All right, good. Module one. So I feel it. Jesus. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is fun to make. Please catch UG Lectures Part 1. And share with somebody. Tag somebody. Help Annie to make some money. That Facebook doesn't pay. A special birthday shout out to my girl Sasuke Haynes or Hamilton. She just turned 20. I hope your day was great and awesome. And you told me to do this and I did it. Happy birthday though. Happy birthday. You know, we're gonna survive, UG, together. What? If you're in the Burbies area on the 4th of November, please come and worship with my church. We're having a band launch for a band that I'm in. It's a worship band, and we're gonna be singing praises to Jesus. So come have some fun if you're in the Burbies area. And if you choose to come, that's all the more better. Alright, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. 